Previously on Fallout New Vegas. Drawn ever closer to Benny, the checkered suit man, Courier 6 made for New Vegas itself. However, on the way there, the Courier stumbled upon none other than Repcon's headquarters. The Courier found that the office was full of still functional Mr. Handy robots and a small company museum. That said, there were things of far more interest in the dusty old museum, namely a large door that several raiders died trying to break into. Courier, however, fare much better. Hey gang, what's good? Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. We're here in the Repcon uh, HQ, I suppose, the main office building here in the Mojave. Uh, we're with our pal, uh, Fire Marshal Veronica and Eddie, the deranged lunatic that we all know and love. Oh, what a guy. What a champ. All right. So we're here trying to get into this door, which will involve us going all the way through this entire facility. Now, you'll notice that uh, this is a bit of a shorter one. Well, that's because, uh, in case you missed it, my computer's dying. I, uh, by now I'll have sent off my... Oh, Jesus, security is, is your duty. Oh, my God. Very big brother, huh? Or, uh, 1984, even. Hello, Mrs. Millis. <gasps> I hope you have an excellent day at work today. Oh, gosh. Thanks. Um, but... My computer, the, the power supply specifically, is dying out, and I've sent it off. It's still in warranty. I've sent it off to get the warranty renewed, or claimed, I guess is what you call that. You get a warranty claim, and hopefully I'll have it back, but just in case I mix, I'm, I'm max, I miss the next um, Vegas, New Vegas video, uh, that's why I'm still waiting for it to come. So hopefully um, I'll have it by then, but you know, I, I'm just recording this quick one here. Uh, just to, you know, just in case. I'd like to not miss a day, but, you know, it may work out that way. I'm doing the same thing with a, um, Pillars of Eternity, trying to do a quick one. Just squeezing it out before, you know. <laughs> Jesus, what did we even pick up just there? Oh, God, I got distracted by saying squeezing it out. Oh, jeez. What fucking book did we pick up? It was a good one, too. Wasn't it? Oh, hell. Oh my god. Poop my butt, dude. Which one was it? Shit, let's scroll through as fast as we can. Well, at a, like, you know, a moderate rate. Is this it? Oh, shit. It was a real book, wasn't it? Oh god, I might just have to abandon the- Oh, there we go, Nikola Tesla and you. Oh my god, okay, great. Makes sense coming in, uh, from this place, huh? Alright, let's check out this terminal here. Very easy. Oh god, hopefully we don't spend too much time on these. <laughs> uh, let's try... Dean. Ooh, three out of four, okay. Wow, what could that be? Um... Hmm. Not deed. Not deep. Neon, no. Um, damn? No. Dawn, no. Er... No. Deem? No. Even? No. Dead? There we go. Alright, so the very easy ones are also very easy. I take back what I said earlier. But also, sometimes the, like, very hard ones are surprisingly easy. It's gotta be said. Um, oh look, add user facial data to database. Good day, Mrs. Wang. Oh man, check it out. Second floor access. We have now become not only Mrs. Millet, but also Mrs. Wang. An unfortunate last name, but what are you gonna do about it? Uh, less, more fortunate if you're living in, in like an Asian country, I guess, but uh, <laughs> otherwise, uh, you know, you're going to school. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, enter office correspondence. Let's see. Hello, uh, this is from Carl Rook. Hello, I will s need someone to come over as soon as possible and clear the old vice president's data off this terminal, as well as reformat it with my personal information. Thank you, Carl Rook. Uh, let's see here. From Sarah Wang to Carl Rook. Mr. Rook, for the last couple weeks, I have seen a higher than usual rate of encrypted messages leaving the facility here. These messages use an unusual encryption protocol that I haven't seen before. I'm fairly certain that it isn't a DOD-approved method. I fear that these messages may be a sign of someone sending insider information. 
Sarah Wang. Hmm. Inter-office correspondence. Number blah, 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 blah. From Carl to Sarah. Mrs. Wang, please continue your investigation into the messages and keep me appraised on any progress you make. In the meantime, please keep this information private. I will make sure the appropriate parties are informed. And please, call me Carl. Carl. <laughs> Alright, and the last one here. From Sarah Wang to Carl Rook. From er, Carl, I've made some progress decrypting the packets. From what I can tell, someone is sending progress messages to a secure off-site server somewhere. Were I to venture a guess, I would say that the messages are going to Poseidon but I don't have enough proof to make a serious claim. Sarah. Hmm. Very suspicious. I can't remember if we ever uncover more about that. I mean, there's a lot of things that we could guess as to what that's revolving around, but we'll hold back until we uh, potentially find more, more world building. Look at this. First aid box right there. Hiding away. Let me just fucking take all. Anything good in these uh, bathrooms here? Oh my god, someone died pooping. Oh, only you can prevent corporate oh, espionage. Man, That's something I always think about when I'm in the grocery store in like the toilet paper aisle and I see someone else in that aisle with me buying toilet paper. Or I guess paper towels are in there too, but whenever I, I'm out there getting toilet paper I, or I see someone else buying toilet paper, I just can't help but imagine them using that toilet paper. I'm like, man, this person is going to be pooping and rubbing this on their butt. I don't know, I can't help it, it's a problem. It's like some sort of eternal curse. Oh look, recognition scanner. Oh, it doesn't want to talk to us. Maybe it can't talk, I don't know. Alright, what's in here? Filing cabinets, what have we got? More cigarettes. Lunchbox. And more cigarettes. Makes sense that there's a lot of cigarettes in here. A, it is an office, right? Uh, empty. Desk. Bottle cap. Oh, that one's empty. This one... Oh, nope, nothing. Oh, something in here. Bottle caps. Wow, thrilling. What else have we got here? Anything? A uh, carton of cigarettes. I'll take it. Worth some money. Okay, good lord. I'm, I've gotten completely lost. Oh, there we go. That's actually the way we gotta go. Let's make sure we've cleared out this area, though. I don't believe we have. Hello, oh, Mrs. Miller. Jesus. I hope you have an excellent day at work today. Yeah, yeah, thanks, dude. Jeez, man, look at this. You remember before how we were talking about a gigantic wall of, of trash course, of or course. poop or whatever Don't the hell it was? Man, this is the real fucking deal. This is really just garbage. Where did all this garbage come from? How did it get this way? I mean, like, yeah, maybe the floor caved in and, like, or whatever, but did it cave in because the entire top floor was just a room full of garbage, like, packed in there? What the hell? Maybe these guys were just bringing garbage here, putting it all up in there. Jesus Christ. All right, let's see in here. Oh, wow, grilled mantis. That's weird. Why would that be in there? Like, this is a pre-war facility that nobody was living in, right? Why would they have grilled mantis? I mean, gecko, maybe I could understand that, but mantis? What the hell? There weren't even mantises that big. All right. Oh, man. Oh, never mind. Take some vodka and some whiskey. All right. Is this? No. Let's see. Can we navigate up here? This is a little treacherous, isn't it? Oh. Oh, jeez. Didn't jump early enough. There we go. What have we got? Squirrel. Pilot light. Oh, look. Top floor, easy access. Oh. Let's see. What have we got in here, huh? Anything good? Empty desk. Can't read the terminal. What about in here? Magnum rounds, man. Someone had magnum rounds up in here? Oh, shit, a fedora. Who do we want to give that to? I don't know. Oh, man. Somebody was reaching for a nice cup of joe, and bam! Bombed. Gotcha! <laughs> I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. And what? what is this? Was that supposed... Oh, no, that's part of the cubicle. I see. I was like, what is that? Was that supposed to be the door? Oh, look, the main floor. Hard. Oh, we can pick this thing. Oh, there we are. Let's see, what else is in here? What is that? Bubblegum. 
Look, we can check this out. Easy. Um, let's see. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Mention might be a good one to start out with. Ooh. Okay. Could it be Western? Nope. Could it be Section? Nope. Running? Um, it could be Running. Ooh, it's close, isn't it? Okay. How about ING is the only one there. Lecture. Nope. Cantina. Nope. Well. No. No. That's just three. Okay. Almost got me. Activate one of those. I don't know. Why not? Um, okay. Mention. Uh, nope. Putting. ING, but that's it. Routing. Um, that could be it. Let's see, does it have two matches with mention? T.I. Yep, there we go. Gotcha. Man, I'm on a roll, huh? Encrypted message, uh-oh. To... From... I've managed to get the password to Isley's computer. I'll forward it to you with the release notes to the Q35. The prototype is going to be stopping here on its way to the Department of Defense. You should be able to intercept it on the road. Oh, man. This is some corporate, corporate espionage, huh? Going on with the fucking commies, huh? Oh, shit. Q35 release notes. Project Quantum Plasma Modulation Matter Injection Rifle. The QP... Mer. Version 32, um, status failure. Notes. While version 32 didn't have the power yield of the version 31 or version 30, we managed to increase the stabilization threshold by approximately 27.35%. This is promising. However, we still have yet to come up with a solution for the matter inversion issues. Uh, version 33, status failure. Notes. Lab destroyed. Data lost. Man, that's maybe, maybe where all that garbage came. They opened a portal into the trash realm. Uh, version 34. Status failure. Notes. Interesting. <laughs> I'm not sure where we got this data from. It is a completely different direction from what we've been working on. We managed to cycle the matter invasion, matter inversion. Use, God, I'm thinking about the invasion of the trash realm. Inversion using a polarized quantum spin. I think that we solved the issue with the compensation field. I have high hopes for the next weapon. God, what is this fucking Star Trek? They're giving all these, like, jibber-jabbers here. Version 35, success! The data we received from Juan... Oh, dude, totally! The commies were responsible for it being completed, even! Uh, from Juan... Uh, or Juan? I have no idea how you pronounce it. Did the trick. We managed to get a stable build model. I don't think this weapon is ready for mass production yet, but it should show that we have a working prototype. We should be able to get these issues resolved in a later build. As you requested, here are the improvements when compared to a standard plasma rifle. Prototype materials not suitable for extended field use. On average, the Q35 has a higher refire rate, but the time between shots is more consistent. Increase in active bolt charge time, accurate at longer ranges. Plasma charge has a 30% uh, increase in energy. Neat. And all of these, do these say anything? Ooh, yeah, these are unique ones. Oh, shit. What if the person who was leaking the information to Juan was trying to implicate um, Sarah Wang because um, she, w she would have some sort of connection to uh, communist China or whatever? That'd be pretty fucking dark, wouldn't it? Uh, Julia... I am sure you have heard by now about Robco's intentions to buy out our company. In the past, you and I have been of like mind when it comes to the moral and financial future of this company. When Poseidon showed me showed interest those years ago, you helped me rally the board in order to keep Repcon autom uh, fuck me, autonomous. I'd like your help again with Robco. Piers claims that Robco is buying shares in the company to force a hostile takeover if we won't sell willingly. 
I don't believe that they will be able to pull together enough shares without some approval of the board. I think that you and I will be able to sway enough votes to keep the company safe. I hope you will stand with me for this. Leonard. Alright, next one. From Julia to Leonard. Vice President and CFO. Chief Financial Officer, I believe that is. Um, I'd stand with you, Leo. Give me a few days to try and gather some support from my allies on the board. I've run the numbers, and I'm pretty sure you are right. We can fight this. Jules. Alright, and the last one. From Julia to Piers, the general manager. You were right. Leo sent me a message last night. I've made the call to the board. I think the numbers are looking at pocketing... I think the numbers we are looking at pocketing from the Robco deal... Uh, we will have no trouble getting the board to vote no confidence on him. Holy shit. Fucking backstabbed. My god. Look, note added regarding Isley. Is it just, um... Oh yeah, look at that. So this is the password, huh? I suppose. Um, beer and wine. No thanks. Anything else up in here? Um, that's the hard lock. What about this? Average lock. Oh, thought we were about to get lucky. Alright, what have we got? Take all. Hell yeah. A uh, bunch of ammo. Man. Like military grade ammo boxes up in here. Just in the supply closet. With missiles inside. Oh, man. Somebody here liked to fucking party, huh? Alright. Let's see. We're fucking overloaded. overloaded. Ooh, who should we give this to? Eddie? Eddie, where are you, Eddie? Take my trash! There you go. Thanks. Hello, oh. Mrs. Millis. Oh my I god. What a bunch of bastards. Okay. Let's see, can we, um... Check our local map, or is that gonna be no help? Eh. Let's do a quick once-over and make sure we checked every room. There's the upstairs. Should we check upstairs? I'm sure that just leads directly to a door, but let's make sure. Yeah, top floor. Okay. We should probably check behind that hard lock. I think we can open that, right? I want to say we can. If not, oh well. I'm pretty sure we can access it from the top. Um, once we scale upward. Okay. I think we got everything, right? Now, where is that hard lock room? Is it over here? There we go. And we also need to remember to check that, um... The, uh, locked room in the, uh, messed up area. Where the... Everything was, like, falling apart. Eh, yeah, look at this. Ooh, Jesus! They're like two giant... Nipple... Like, trash nipple things. How did that even work out? Why was there so much just trash in this building? What the hell? No wonder they went under, or were on the verge of it. Or not even going under, but got bought out. <laughs> Alright, it doesn't make much sense now, does it? They got bought out because they had a lot of trash. Robco loves their garbage, okay? Let's see, what else have we got here? Garbage, garbage. Nothing, nothing. Desk? Anything in there? Oh, can't even loot it. Filing cabinets. Something in there. Magnum rounds again. Alright. Ah, uh, there it is. Nice! Is this the uh, only way into this room? It certainly seems like it, doesn't it? Oh shit, look at this. A little secret stash. Nikola, Tesla, and you. Perhaps more valuable to us than the actual super weapon. Or legendary weapon, I should say. Um, do we just want to take all this? Yep. Look at this, so many MF cells. Motherfucker. Alright. Um, I was watching a bit of, um, what's his name, Sorcerer Dave's New Vegas thing before I started my own. Like I said at the beginning, when I was watching people, how they, uh, how everyone was handling the, uh, the potential copyright claim, and he, and he had, like, this weird, uh, mod that had this fucking guy who just kept saying motherfucker a whole lot. <laughs> I don't know if he kept it, but it's pretty weird. Alright, let's pop this thing open. Uh, disengage the lock. Yes, please. All right, yoink! Oh, all right. Let's grab this sucker. Nice. Oh shit! We can't take it out of its like strange 
Space Age condom. Huh? All right. Let's see. Man, we are so fucking overloaded with garbage, aren't we? It's probably all of our aid, isn't it? Veronica, come take some aid. You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? Yeah, but it's it's a lot of aid. You're going to help a lot of people. Well, mostly me. You're going to help me a lot. Um, let's see. Healing powder doesn't even weigh that much. What is weighing me down? Medex? Maze? I mean, I guess we should get rid of that. We just got four weight units of corn. Uh, Nikola Tesla. Nice soccer tail. I guess you can take that. Agave fruit. Why not? Prickly pears. They're not that heavy. Psycho. Water. Stealth boys. Oh, shit. Yeah, look at all that. Man, we, we need to stop buying stim packs, don't we? Holy hell. Even if we get into a Royal Rumble again, we're not going to need that many, are we? Alright. What does this sucker look like? It looks like a, a big souped up special, um, uh, what do you call it? A plasma rifle. Man, it looks cool, doesn't it? Man, gotta love the, uh, the art direction on, on the weapons and stuff. Even in, uh, Fallout 4, where they changed uh, changed around how the plasma weapons look. I still like them. In fact, I might like them more because they have the cool heat sinks on the bottom. Oh my god. I fucking love those heat sinks. I think heat sinks look so cool. I just want big heat sinks on everything. Hello, Mrs. Oh my god. I want, a, I want a car with like a whole bunch of exposed heat sinks all over it. That's what I want. Actually, you know what? I don't want that. That'd be like hell to drive. <laughs> and I'm already not good at driving. I'm not a good driver. It's gotta be said. Alright. Where is that messed up room? We're looking for that. But you know what? It's eluding us. Veronica, any help you could offer right now would be fantastic. Is this the one that shoots like three? No. It's just high powered as hell. I forgot it comes in pristine condition too. Too bad we just ruined that pristine condition. Alright. Top floor. Is this third floor access is for executives only? Please identify. Uh oh shit, I forgot. This is like one of the few, if only luck check in the entire game. Ice cream. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day. Holy shit. God, I love luck. Man, we were talking about things I love. Luck. Like I said at the beginning, I always try and be a luck character if I can. It's just so great. I love it. Alright. Ooh, some whiskey. We have such a stockpile of whiskey now for uh, old Cassidy when she finally decides to come with us. Let's see, terminal. She's going to be fucking thrilled. Oh, there's a safe around here. We won't unlock it. We'll just unlock it ourselves for that XP. Um, regarding Robco. From Carl Rook to Piers Isley underscore Repcon. Hello, Piers. Now that things have been set in motion going to be your liaison and point of contact with Robco. I'll be handling anything that arises during your transition to the Robco family. My first priority is going to be tightening up your security. As you well know, Robco handles many classified projects. Because of this, Repcon will need a large increase to security. I'll be sending over some engineers and security personnel to discreetly install some enhanced security procedures. Most of it will be pretty innocuous. However, all employees will be required to wear their security badges at all times. Please have your people start wearing their badges well in advance of our partnership becoming official. I think it will make the transition easier. None of the security measures will be activated until I arrive on site. Hopefully by then, everyone will be comfortable with the new rules. Thank you for your time, Carl Rook. Alright. Inter-office co correspondence. Um... To Steve... Oh, okay. Yeah, to Steve, Launch Facility Project Manager from Piers Isley. Can you send an email out to your engineers reminding them about our security policies? I'll be sending a message next week about some increased security procedures. Thanks, Piers. Okay. Where's that safe at? Is it, like, buried under somewhere? Huh. Maybe it's back... Ooh, wow. Where the hell is it? Where is this safe? Good lord, we're like the worst thief ever. Is it somewhere in here? I can't discern it because of the textures? Is it underneath that? No. I mean, we'll take this. Hell yeah, we'll take that. 
Give me that soda. Give me the soda. All right. Is it in here? No way. It's not in here. Is it? Look at this fucking thing. All right. What about in this tool cabinet? No. Oh, here's the safe. Is this it? Man, what an easy safe. Okay. Is a laser pistol worth... No, nah, it's hardly... The value on that thing is garbage. All right. We got everything. Yep. Fusion batteries. Pop this sucker open. What have we got? Ooh, the trash haul. All right. God, that guy wants to come over and talk to us. No, go away! Okay, is this like uh, the head honcho's place? Oh, look it. Yep, star cap. Hell yeah. All right, what else have we got here? Mm, bunch of nothing. Oh, look at this. Anything up there? No. All right. Oh, let's log in. Oh, shit. Science skill of 100 required. Holy hell. What's our science at? It's nowhere near 100, is it? Yeah, 52. Huh. We couldn't even boost up that high. Wow, man, I feel like shit now that I can't open that. Hmm. Oh, look at this. Huh. We'll come back to that. Alright, let's check all these. There's probably nothing in here, but I love checking them anyway. I just fucking love looting stuff, don't you? That's one of my favorite things about Bethesda games, is just, like, digging through loot. I don't know if you've ever noticed. I try and speed it up when I'm recording, but... Man. Like, especially when I go off-camera, I'm just like, Oh, I'm just writhing in piles of loot. I'm just like, Oh my god, I love sorting through loot! Oh god, if you've seen my Morrowind home, you know, I like to organize loot around, like some sort of deranged lunatic. Alright, so that's where that goes. That was the broken room. Fair enough. Okay. Man, what a bummer that we can't access that terminal, huh? Look, we're just so bummed out that we're running around in circles. Jeez. Maybe there's a password here or something. Nope. Okay. Should we come back to this at a later date? I feel Third like- floor access is for executives only. Please identify- Yeah, I ice cream. Thank you. I, I think you get his password somewhere else. Because I remember, I I've checked that, and I think it was without 100 science before. I can't remember, though. Oh, shit! Oh my god, I completely forgot about this guy being in here. Alright, yeah, Brotherhood of Steel Paladin. Wow, wow, wee wah. Look at this. His heavy-ass armor. Shit me, that is really heavy. He's got a laser rifle, though. Brotherhood of Steel Mission Holotape. And a T-45D power armor. Alright. Does he have a helmet around, laying around here? Oh shit, he's got a friend, though. Oh jeez, poor guy. Totally taking it, though. Man, I almost missed that guy who was crushed underneath it. How do you think that went? This guy definitely got killed by the shit falling on him. Man, so much garbage again, it killed the poor guy. Just a gigantic cave-in of garbage. We haven't even seen, like, where all this- Oh my god, you guys are relentless. But look, this guy was just minding his own business. His friend must have seen it happen, he was so distraught. That maybe he just couldn't fucking handle the pressure of it. I don't know. I mean, they usually get, like, that sweet Brotherhood of Steel training that helps them handle that sort of horrific shit that you see, but I don't know. Maybe it just got to him and he just shot himself. Nah, probably not. Maybe he... I don't know. How else could he have died just sitting here? I don't know. Let's see. Maybe it's in his little message. Oh, it's a text message. Um, mission code XV56. Temporary password. Lives to fight another day. Summary. Paladin Matisse and Lander, you are to survey the ruins at coordinates... Blah, 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 search for the components we need, and retrieve what you can. As a secondary objective, compile a list of additional items at the site for future retrieval. McNamara. Alright. Folks. Ugh, God. Veronica, save me. You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? Um, let's see. Take cigarettes. You need to take a lot of these. Um, where'd the rest of them go? There they are. We should just give her more shit, shouldn't we? Here, what weighs a lot? Take all of the Nuka-Cola. There, you can just have it all. And... Should we give her anything else? Purified water, why not? Okay, that should be fine for now, right? We'll give her the whiskey. We have to remember to take it off of her, though. Or else, um, Cassidy is gonna be pissed as hell. 
when we finally meet her and say, look, we got all this whiskey in there. Just no whiskey at all. All right, there we go. Um, we're pretty well off there, but hmm, can we maybe repair this? No, still not enough. Shit me. Hmm. I guess we could give her ten more sarsaparillas. You're making me carry the heavy. Here, also take you? a laser rifle. And whoops, one more and sarsaparillas. We really need to get rid of that. Um, what do you call it as well? Those irradiated dimes. I'm just like collecting. <laughs> like some kind of fucking hoarder. What the hell? Alright. Can we finally access this? Did Was it like in the... No? Okay, fair enough. Alright, so we finally got some power armor, but we can't use it here. Uh, if you're unfamiliar, if you've only ever played like Fallout 4 or none of them, you actually need training to equip them. Which kind of makes sense because in Fallout 4, you know, you play a, a soldier. Uh, unless you're the lady, which you're... You're not a soldier at all, which doesn't make sense. Fallout 4 had some some story problems. <laughs> it had some problems with the. Uh, eh. Chris Avalon is back. Isn't that good? <laughs> all right, let's see here. Um, I guess we cleared out this entire floor. Let's just double check here. Yeah, it looks like we got everything. Okay, let's head on out. Can we get out through? Third floor access oh my is frantic. Yeah, ice cream, dude. I'm the ice cream guy. Let's see. Second floor? Why not? We'll just go through here. Okay. We'll get on out of here, and I guess, um... We'll call it once we're uh, out of here. Like I said, this would be a short one. Hopefully, I have, um... Obtained the PSU. I'll send out the Brotherhood Scribes to find it. <laughs> yeah, we'll just, like, hardcore roleplay this shit. Yes, the, uh... The, the flux capacitor, uh, Nixie Tube, uh, who's a Watsit 9000, has broken. It's shut down. I'm sending out some of my top men and women to go retrieve a replacement part from the ancient pre-war facilities. And they'll be back in a lickety split. And uh, we'll be ready and in ship shape to activate Project Restore the Computer. And uh, hopefully it'll be great. It'll be perfectly fine. Man, it would be a damn shame if it wasn't the power supply, huh? I mean, I did a lot of troubleshooting, but it would be a damn shame if that wasn't it. Anyway, when next we come back, um, we will head off to... Hmm. Where's our next location that we're going to head off to? Let's... Hmm. We probably won't go to Vault 34. We'll come back to that. But we will just head along the road. We'll probably go to um, Vegas, the outskirts at least, to um, Freeside, if you know what that is. So yeah, when next we come back, we're heading to Vegas. Vegas, baby! Vegas! Peace! <laughs>